Yeah, let's do some shooting. These little gophers. <laughs> Those things are awesome. That's fun. That's so cool. This thing is badass. Hey everybody, welcome to Beyond the Black Shirt. Thank you uh, for being a wonderful Patreon supporter. As you know, YouTube is not happy with uh, gun channels, Second Amendment channels, any type of channel that has to do with stuff like that. So you guys are keeping this channel alive and running. So I can't thank you so much. Uh, I do want to say uh, thank you so much to Kenny B, the winner of our Traeger Grill giveaway. We got the audio and footage, and it is awesome for me to see. Put a big smile on my face. So, Kenny B, thank you so much. But I want to show you guys something that I received um, about two weeks ago, and this was super cool for me. So I'm not like the super modern gun type of guy. I, I, I like all sorts of stuff. You know, some people are like, it's, it's funny because if you guys read it in my comments and some of these, if I do like a SIG review and I'm like, oh, I'm not really a big fan of this particular gun, they're like, oh, well, of course you're not. You're a Glock guy. And then if I do a review on a Glock and I'm like, here's some things that I don't really care for about the gun, they're like, oh, well, that's because you're a SIG guy. And then if I'm, you know, say something about, you know, the Smith & Wesson, especially the friggin' bodyguard. <laughs> if you guys want to laugh, go on to the bodyguard review and check out the comments in it. And everybody, like, bashes on me. That gun is such a piece of shit. It's crazy. <laughs> I mean, and you know, like, I mean, there's just so many better guns on the market than that. And it's got its place. I mean, the gun is, like, itty-bitty. It's tiny. It's like a pack of cards or whatever. It's, it's tiny, but... It's just, no, no, not for your boy. <laughs> so if you want to laugh, go in there, have some fun, freaking troll some people. That'll be cool. But anyways, uh, I love like revolvers and I love like kind of old school guns. And one of my big things is that I love like modern technology and styling brought into classic guns, almost as if they were like made with today's tech and materials back in the day. So without further ado, let's talk about this. This is the Henry Model X 357 38 Special. That's right. I had been searching for this gun for a long time. This is a Henry Big Boy Model X chambered in 357. So I've done the review on my Smith & Wesson 327, which is an eight shot scandium frame, titanium, blah, 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 blah. blah. It's got all sorts of crazy uh, materials put into it, but it's beautiful because it has a wood handle and, and it's just very classic with like modern materials. And I love it because it's 357 and I shoot 357 and 38 out of it. Well, then I also have my Smith & Wesson 627, which is like the bigger version of it. And you'll see it on the backdrop behind me. Well, not today. Uh, in the gun room, you'll see it in the, in the studio. You'll see it in the backdrop behind me over my uh, left shoulder. And that's going to be the um, Smith & Wesson 627 357, which also 38 special. So I wanted to get something where I could just kind of stick with one caliber to do it all. And, you know, I guess, you know, I don't want to necessarily bore you with the whole unboxing and stuff like that, but... It's pretty straightforward, you know, it comes in a cardboard box. It's just as I love it. You know, it's got the butcher paper. So we'll pop that out of there. Look at this bad boy though. All black, baby. Isn't that thing gorgeous? Just freaking gorgeous. Super modern looking. Very cool gun. Inside the box, you have like your Henry uh, tags. These are gonna be on the gun and it has like the quality control um, and ammo inspection tag. Uh, this one was dated on March 23rd, 2021. So this is like fairly uh, new production. And you have your 
manual. And there you go. That's it. That's all you need, baby. So let's go ahead and toss that box over there. So I was looking for a lever action that would complement my revolvers. And this is uh, what I decided to go with is this bad boy here. And I am super happy that I went with this. This thing is bad ass. I have some plans that I'm gonna be doing with this and I'm gonna share those with you guys uh, right now too. But as you can see, it's it's got very classic lines to it basically from here back, except for everything's black. It has the big loop, which is awesome. Uh, very smooth action, which Henry is pretty much known for. Oh, there it is. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it's hitting. I'm gonna do some upgrades to the stock here. Um, right on this grip. I'm going to get it stippled. It's, it's not that this is a bad grip. Um, I just like the stipple feel. And up here on the hand guard, I'm, I'm going to show you the hand guard that I'm going to be putting on this. But I wanted you to see kind of a before and after uh, before I start getting crazy because I almost tore this thing apart, you know, <laughs> prior to this video and you wouldn't have gotten to see the before and after. So up front here, you have a plastic hand guard which is fine and you have like a pick rail you have an, a, an attachment here for like a sling or you could do a bipod and then you have two m lock slots on the sides which is is all right uh it to me it's it's kind of tough because there's only a couple lights that i would put on to this and you know they're really not they're not my favorite you know and and Honestly, I'm not a big fan of plastic hand guards. I like the wood ones or metal. And that's what I'm gonna show you here shortly. Fiber optic sights. It's a three dot sight. You got the uh, red fiber optic on the rear. And there is some serrations on there for anti-glare on the rear. And, and this is uh, adjustable for windage and elevation. So it's actually a dovetail rear sight and you can adjust that back and forth even with just like a, a very light mallet and a very small little hammer and uh, a punch you can actually move it back and forth a little bit but I didn't have to do any of that this thing was so spot on straight out of the box I was very impressed with that and then you have a green fiber optic up front so these sights were sweet we were shooting up in the mountains with this and this gun is insanely smooth this thing is so sweet that I mean, this thing is crazy accurate you could just shoot anything you want i can't wait to put a suppressor on this thing and, and that's part of the upgrades i'm going to show you too uh, <laughs> dana's behind the camera she had no idea so what up front, you have, uh, this is, so there's a couple different ways that you can actually load ammo into this. So you have your tube magazine here. So you're gonna have your kind of like a push rod here, which will come out. And on the bottom, this is where you can feed in your rounds there. And this little, orange piece is kind of like a spring-loaded follower. See that? So basically you'll put in your rounds up here, put that in, and then you can see you'll twist it. And this knurled end right here is uh, is really quite grippy. It's I, I like it a lot. So, yep, you'll just pop it in there like that. Now the other part here is this is a side gate model too. So you can actually just shove them in that way as well which is, is fine. And it's kind of neat. You can actually see the, uh, the color. It's kind of that copperish color there from putting in the rounds. So it's got some character going on there, which is kind of sweet, you know? Up top, we have the threaded barrel protector. So this is basically gonna use a nine millimeter can. But what's interesting is and, and it was, if you get one of these, it's, it might be a little interest, interesting for you to find a, uh, 
a muzzle device for this because it's basically a it's it's a 357 so you know it's going to use like the same bore and suppressor as like a nine millimeter but on nine millimeters the thread for the barrel is typically half by 28. This is a 5 8 so this is what you would typically saw, see on a 300 can. It's like a 300 caliber thread, but for like a 9 mil can. It's almost like what you'd expect on like a 300 blackout. Well, you guys, I, I'm, anyways. It was a little interesting trying to find this. And then, you know, of course, to find a muzzle device that would work with one of my nine mil cans. So I had some digging around to do. And in my Honey Badger video, if you recall, if you recall I got one of the Reardon comps. It's a super small company as of right now. I kind of feel like they're going to be the next Griffin Armament. But... They get stuff in stock, it's sold out literally in hours. And I was super fortunate. I added it to the wish list on there. Uh, I have my box of goodies here I'm gonna show you. Let's pop that open. So here's the Reardon comp, and this is a single port comp. So this is actually the same comp that I have on the honey badger that's gonna go on to this so actually i can kind of mock it out mock it up for you guys real quick here and this will actually work with the plan b from q and i'll be able to run my omega 9k on this so check that out so i gotta time this still but how freaking sweet is that this thing is going to be insanely quiet when I'm running like 38s through this. It's such a long barrel for a 38. 38s don't have a huge amount of velocity versus like 357. So that's going to be sweet. The next thing that's going to go on here is going to be a Ranger Precision Aluminum M-Lock Handguard. Holy crap, how sweet is this? So if you if you go on Google, you type in Ranger, Ranger Precision Henry Model X, you'll see photos of what this is basically going to look like. But check that out. How awesome is that? Super sweet. Okay. Now, it does get in the way of loading rounds in the bottom here. So I'm gonna have to be cognizant uh, of that. I mean, I have the side gate. I really don't care about loading rounds in that way, but I love that this has so many spots to put accessories on there. I love the venting. And it also has this cool, because when you hold these guns, you know, you hold these lever actions like this, your thumb kind of, if you're used to shooting like ARs, you're used to maybe like a C clamp and pulling it into you, right? Well, you know, you're, you don't have a cover over the top of this barrel. You know, it's not free floated. So you kind of hold it this way and your thumb's kind of sitting in this weird ridge, you know, right in between the barrel and the handguard. Well, what's cool is this has that indent there. So you can probably see that little indent. And now your thumb has a spot to actually rest right there. So when it's up there, you can really get some nice grip on that. The machining's done incredibly well. It's super light. Uh, I was very surprised by how lightweight this this was. So very, very happy with it. I'm, a, I'm super excited to install this. Can't wait to show you guys the after on that. And then I have the Hoptic. Hoptic USA, and this is for 357 shells, and that'll sit right on the side of this. So essentially, it's going to sit just like that. So we'll have 
those 357 shells sitting right in that M lock system right there where I can pluck them out, pop them in. How freaking awesome is this? So this, this project, I mean, <laughs> I'll probably start on this tonight. Then I'll go shoot the crap out of it. Uh, and then we have the uh, Ranger Precision Henry takedown screw, which is this oversized one is gonna replace this little guy here. So it's gonna replace it with this big fat one here, which will be sweet. So if you go on to like Ranger Precision's website, you'll see how you can replace that with one of theirs. So basically I'm taking this from being a modern take on a classic gun and making it more modern and more tactical and more my style. I, I don't know that I'm going to stop with just these. I probably won't. I'll, I'll probably put some sort of red dot on this and I'm still kind of deciding on which one I want to go with. Uh, I, I'm kind of leaning towards like an RMR, but I also might go with another enclosed red dot and act and the uh, aimpoint acro p2 is you know it's either out or coming out so i'm gonna try to get my hands on one of those but i mean i don't shoot this gun very often uh or i don't necessarily plan on to shooting it a ton so i'm like ah do i want to if i get one of those on my hands do i want to put it on this or do i want to put on something else i don't know the verdict's still out but let, let me know what you guys think i'd love to you know Hear your ideas and uh, I'm kind of leaning towards maybe getting this uh, camouflaged in like a black camo I don't know let's have some fun with this thing you know what I'm saying <laughs> let's get some people to roll in their eyes and freaking <laughs> rub in their forehead going like what is this guy thing is this guy crazy just like I did with the honey badger so anyways uh, thank you guys again for being um, with me this evening in my dining room, in my, my wine <laughs> dining room. <laughs> and thanks again so much for being a Patreon supporter of the channel. Uh, it is so important to all gun channels right now that people are supporting them, um, whether it be PayPal donations or Patreon, um, you know, support and pledging, you know, money to these uh, gun channels or, or even conservative channels and things like that as, as YouTube is uh, demonetizing them and censoring them. So anyways, I appreciate it so much. But anyways, I will keep you guys updated on this build, how it goes. And uh, if it's something that you are looking into, of course, reach out to me. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do the best I can to respond and give you all the information that I have learned in in this journey so anyways guys i'll see you uh next time here on uh beyond black shirt